to I'm an English or math test score, it's, it, it then becomes, okay, why is this institution not as good as this institution? I think we have a very big job to do, but, and I think this last, uh, this, this election gives us that opportunity to actually, actually recreate a vision of public schools as the engine of our democracy and the propeller of our economy as well as what it needs to be to help every single child dream and achieve his or her dreams. Yes. of the future. It's where we grow our future. It's where we're going to become our best selves. And so when we create that incubator, people talk about startups and business and tech startups and incubators all the time. They talk about it in the business world, but we need to talk about it starting from the very youngest kids and grow their minds and grow their skills in every, in every way. So we become greater when we invest in the future. That's how it always has worked, and that's what we need to realize is important. You're not just in Las Vegas and Nevada, but across America in every single school, and that's what's going to uh, secure all of us. So, Schools cannot be silos in their communities. They have to reach out to the community. They have to reach out to parents. They've got to engage parents. It's not just come and drop your kids off, say hi, we'll see you later on. It's about actively having conversations with your community, with your parents, to let them know how important the school is to the community, but also how important they are to the school. It has to be a two-way conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, we didn't have a chance for more questions from the audience, but maybe we can get to speak a little bit as we walk out. Um, uh, the, uh, I think it was a great question, and part of your question is about uh, how do we communicate about the value of the schools, and I'll just say one of the things that I hope, as I say, what Hillary's asked me to do on the campaign trail is, is um, talk to teachers and talk to communities about education, and I, I very much hope that if and when we elect her as our next president, to uh, that if she when 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 that she uh, if she, if 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 I can be helpful in that way to help do the bully pulpit on what is the value of education from pre K all the way on up and I will tell you I mean in Virginia one of our biggest allies on pre K even pre K all the way through CTE and higher ed has been our business community because they get it they they understand we're talking about the workforce uh, and so we we, we had them. They were interested in pre-K and higher ed, but we kind of were forgetting about K-12, and we, we had some conversation with them, and they said, oh yeah, we gotta do that too, don't we? Um, but, but I do think that we, uh, that the, the bully public, we gotta, we gotta communicate uh, broadly to the public from uh, the value of, of preparing, preparing uh, children, successful pathways to the future for children from every single background, for every single, from every single zip code. And with, with Jackie's help, with uh, your great new senator's help, uh, uh, and we'll, hurry up, uh, we'll do it. Uh, I can't resist the opportunity to say while we're all together early vote, early vote, early vote. How many people have voted already? Oh, come on, that's great. Go tell all your friends. And she's got her, uh, Desiree has her I voted sticker on up here already. So everybody go tell your friends, make sure everybody know, use your social media. That's the Nevada way, right? Thank you. Great to be here in Henderson. Thank you.